Hello everyone. Welcome to I, I need to check the replay of this. I don't know when it begins, but welcome to day two of the February 10 minute portrait challenge. Uh, it's awesome having you here. Hi, Monica. Who else is watching? I see eight people are here. That's nice. Um, I'm going to be doing these every day this month and Monica and Monica are here. That's awesome. Meryl. Good morning, Meryl. Um, awake in Texas. Cool. Um, yeah, every every day this month, I'll be doing a 10 minute portrait with you. And we're going to be sketching musicians together. And today, um, I have a pretty, pretty awesome reference of um, Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan and uh, a powerful singer. Um, here we go. This is uh, Ren from yesterday. Um, Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan is a uh, was, is a, a Sufi devotional singer uh, from Pakistan and um, is such an incredible genre of music. I, I first started listening to Kavali um, about, I don't know, five years ago um, through Fanafi Allah which I think is a mix, um, uh, maybe some of them are Canadian, but they learn from this lineage of um, Pakistani devotional um, musicians and it's incredible because each song is like a prayer and a party at the same time and it's really um, there are these long pieces of music and they sit together clapping and singing together and it's a really um, powerful way of singing and really enjoyable to listen and move to so I'm really excited to to be able to share that with you perhaps you're not familiar with the genre there's a link in the description below to go check out the song um, Nusrat Fatih Ali Khan passed away in 97 uh, but has a legacy of um, a lot, lots of music, lots of live recordings which have a really incredible energy. Um, I'm going to do something similar to yesterday with ink but the, the reference has this incredible like green glow. Um, it's, it's some kind of, I don't know what the process is in, the, in this image but this greenness I thought would be really interesting to kind of play with so I'm going to start with a a green, um, some green line work. What's, wah, what's everyone else sketching with today? Let me put my timer on. Hi Cora, hi Alexa, Charlotte, 81 Tizzle, great having you all here, Susanna. Um, what, are, what are you going to be working with today? Perhaps you've already started drawing. Um, 10 minutes, starting now. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I, there's a, a really cool, um, documentary, uh, of Fanafi Allah, and I think it was as they were traveling in Pakistan and giving concerts, and it's really incredible to see the way people, were um, appreciating, engaging with and being a part of the music. It's like this call and response style of singing um, and someone will sing and pass it on and like they're singing and clapping together and people dancing and it's, it's quite quite incredible to see and I think um, I think it belongs in the the family of um, like Indian classical music as well I, I remember looking up Rag Bhairav which is really in um, there are these incredible rags in Indian classical music and there are also Kavali um, there's, there's some crossover between some of the um, the rags and, and the ways that these uh, oh, what, what, what are the words I'm even looking for? Um, hello, who is that guy? This is Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan and he was a um, Sufi singer who um, unfortunately only lived to be 48, passed away in 97. And for those of you who joined the Rick Rubin drawing live stream on the weekend, um, I was just like looking through his stuff and I was like, oh, discovered that Rick Rubin produced uh, his his final studio album before he passed away, um, which was interesting to kind of see the crossover between these personalities, um, these creative people. Um, Yeah, and there's, 
when I first listened to, to Indian classical music, it felt like it was um, it was something my ears were not used to hearing, which I think is an enjoyable kind of mental exercise. Or I don't know if it's mental, it's just kind of like an experience. And um, but there's this there's this incredible power to this devotional music, which um, it's like sometimes they're like 18 minute songs and you really it's like going on a journey and it gets ecstatic and calm and powerful and there's so many things going on and it's it's really um if you have the time and the the ability to kind of um give yourself to to experiencing a new genre if you're not familiar with it i think it's really it's quite incredible um, and if you do let me know uh, maybe some of you here uh, already familiar with Cavalli music um, I'd love love to hear from from you I, I put out the call yesterday as well asking people who do you think we should draw and um, Monica Ch Chatovidi uh, suggested um, uh, Indian classical musician um, so we would definitely be doing we're going to cover faces from all sorts of genres of music and all sorts of traditions. So I think it's going to be a really fun month. Um, so I've got this drawing. <laughs> now I wonder, do I, I think I'm, I'm going to black in all of the surrounding area, um, go straight into it with this ink and then try and kind of bring some subtlety and variation into the the actual portrait. So there's probably not going to be much of that green preserved in the, the final result, but maybe, we'll see. Alex is using watercolor. Cool. It was really nice yesterday. I love seeing when you um, when you share your work on Instagram or wherever it is that you like to share. So if you do so, I'd love to, love you to tag me, and you can use the hashtags that I've put on the on the screen over over here, um, so we can see what see what each other's doing. Um, yeah, Ren makes music we, we drew yesterday and, and Ren shared one of the sketches to his stories, which was shared. So that was, uh, that was exciting. It was some Desis Deli, I think, it was the, our sketcher and art friend who shared. Um, I, when I first listened to Fanafiala and watched that documentary, when they were saying that every song is a prayer, um, I I felt like that was a really, um, such a wonderful concept, and I I think of it kind of, uh, there are these really clear devotional traditions, um, but I also think of it in in terms to other like any genre basically whatever we we sing create give our attention to it's like um you know putting out that uh pu putting that into the world and that's also kind of what we potentially inviting in and it's, it's really interesting i i listen to a lot of um metal and and dark music growing up and it had this is and i I, when I think about the content, there were some things that kind of I didn't really uh, resonate with, but there's some really thoughtful music and just kind of um, like some of those lyrics really kind of dealing with whether it's political or just human condition uh, challenges. Um, I've, I don't know, there are so many different genres and there's so much different music that I appreciate. And it's, um, it's really interesting to, to think of music and song as prayer and if if any of you are familiar with the act of singing and singing in a group it's quite a quite a powerful incredible thing to do um so it's really it's really interesting and enjoyable to listen to um to people uh who uh, have this clear sense of devotion and passion to their to their singing it's really cool Wow, that's dark. 
Um, I'm trying to dilute my ink and it's still very dark. Whoops. I was um been listening to to some of his music and Cavalli music uh kind of getting in the mood for this and it's 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 incredible how many albums have been released of of his live performances and a special thing about um Cavalli is that it's 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 a it's a group endeavor so there seems to be a lot of uh, emphasis on on him as a personality and his incredible presence and voice but it's actually like the whole group that brings the um brings the that spirit of passion and and devotion together in the performance one and a half minutes left <laughs> It's um, you know, it's it's intense doing this kind of timed practice, but it's over really fast. <laughs> and whether you feel happy with your results or not, um, I, I feel like it's a really great uh, learning um, learning experience. Like we really had potential to try things out and and not to get too stuck because you just gotta just gotta go for it. What's going on now? Things are too dark with my brush. Um, I need another brush. So I, I, I loved, um, lots of people gave me suggestions of, of who you would like to draw. Uh, musicians and um, I have quite quite a list now but you can keep making suggestions I can imagine there'll be further I, I just love um, music I love it um, discovering new music or rediscovering music that I haven't heard for a long time so any suggestions people have of music that really means a lot to them has moved to them people you think would be interesting to draw feel free to let me know and even if we don't get around to it this month um, perhaps there will be 10 minute portraits of uh, musicians again in the future because I love doing this and it will be, be fun to incorporate people that you would love to, to draw as well. That was it. That was 10 minutes. This is, this is interesting. Oh, I wish you could see it the way I see it. I'm not totally content with this camera. It does these weird... Um, weird balancing act, the way it tries to represent things. But I, I'll show you. Um, how did everyone go? Need contours. Yeah, it can be it can be really challenging working without contours. If you would now like to spend more time on your piece, feel free to do so. Here is, so you can see it maybe a bit better like this. Here's my, uh, my version. Um, yeah, starting with contours, like those green contours I started with are kind of lost, but that's all right. Um, and if you if you feel like you need more time to to get to a state where you're content, um, so difficult. It is difficult, isn't it? And um, please don't, uh, don't go comparing to anything. Um, focus on your own process. I, I will be able, at some point, I will share books of my old sketches where I spent hours and hours working on things where I was not as happy with the result as this. It's it's really about practicing and and doing this together and taking the time. And if you can commit to like following up with this, um, if you join us daily, that would be amazing. I also have replays from the last session. I'm gonna be doing um, live streams where we do like 10, 10 minute portraits. Um, some Saturday evenings I do that. And the more you practice and the more consistent your practice is, you keep trying things, there'll be, there'll be sketches where it's like, Whoa. 
where you're maybe not so content with the result and then maybe something will click, something will happen. You're like, oh, that, that worked. And then the, th the idea of doing all of this practice is you can try out different things, see what works for you. And or maybe it's the medium, maybe try something different. And, and the more we keep experimenting and, and trying and learning, um, it's just the, uh, hopefully it's in some way an enjoyable, rewarding process. And it's really cool doing stuff together. Speaking of doing stuff together, in just under nine hours, we're going to be meeting up with Janelle, Janelle Delcide, who's an incredible muse. And on the Drawn Together show, we're going to be speaking with Janelle, doing a portrait. Um, Janelle is really incredible, has on the sketchy app, almost 4000 people have done Janelle's portrait. And she's really in wonderful. So if you check out my Instagram stories, you'll see the reference we'll be working from. And I would love you, if you are awake, um, to come and join us live. And if you have questions for Janelle about um, her creative output, um, it'd be great to have you come join the Drawn Together show, which is in just under nine hours from now. But otherwise, I would love to see you here again tomorrow. And as I mentioned, use these hashtags, Drawing with Dylan and 10 Minute Portrait. And if you're sharing in stories, you can tag me and I can instantly share that to my stories. And that would be awesome. Um, any questions or is that it for today? We were pretty good um, with the time. I like, was able to stop at 10 minutes. I'm like, okay. Um, and that's also, we went a bit over time yesterday. I don't know. It's a 10 minutes is a guideline. It's just a starting point. And if you if you feel like going further, then feel free. Um, Meta discourse. Yes, she is such a wonderful model, right? I'm, I'm really looking forward to to drawing her again. Um, Alexa, who's drawing? Oh, five people. You're five people um, sitting drawing together, taking a lunch break and sketching. That's so cool. And two of them are drawing for the a portrait for the first time ever. That is so cool. Um, if you if you're allowed to and you want to share their work, um, that would be cool. Really cool to see. Um, it's so great ha having people join the fun. There was someone in December who I think at their Christmas party um, that they they got some of their family members sketching together with them, and, and that was really cool to see. People who don't usually sketch um, were getting in on the fun as well. So that's awesome. So cool, Alexa, that you were able to to share this in your lunch break. And um, yeah, thank you all for being here. If you'd like to give me a thumbs up for this, um, that's good. It might help you to push it out to more people to see. And if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. And if you didn't watch this live, I would still love you to comment and tell me what you're drawing with, what, what musicians you would like to sketch. And I'll see you again tomorrow or maybe later in the day because you're going to come and hang out and draw Janelle with us too. Um, thank you for being here. You're all awesome. Uh, we're here. End stream. Here. Bye-bye.